Welcome for physics lesson. We are going to study the Hooke's law. So we're given a question that a single spring stretches by two centimeters when supporting a load of 50 Newton. If the system below, the springs are identical and have negligible weight, find the total extension of the system. So the thing we should get first here is spring constant. And spring constant is gotten by force divided by extension for each spring. So we are told a force of 50 causes an extension of 2 centimeters, which we're supposed to change to 0 0.02 meters. And this will give us 50 divided by 0 0.02, 2,500 or 2,500 newtons per meter. This is the spring constant for one spring. <clears throat> this means we can get the spring constant of this combination whereby we usually say that the spring constant total is given by the number of springs times spring constant of each. That is when they are in parallel, like in this case. So we shall have three springs times 2500 and the spring constant will be 7500 for this upper combination. And for the lower one, the total extension will be 2 multiplied by 2,500, giving us 5,000 Newton per meter. So these are the spring constants for each case. They are both supporting 1,000 Newtons. And this means we can get extension. We can have the first extension, which will be given by, because we see that force equals to spring constant times extension, then extension is force out of spring constant. So a force of 100 divided by an extension of 7500, this gives us a... Out of 7500, this gives us 0 0.01333 meters. And the second extension is going to be still a thousand hundred sorry divided by five thousand extension and this will be 0 0.02 meters so total extension is going to be when we take 0 0.02 plus 0 0.0133 and this will be 0 0.033 meters so that would be the total extension because you first of all calculated extension for each part of the combination then we have added lastly we have the total spring constant spring constant is given by force out of extension and we have a force of 100 and a total extension of 0 0.033 recurring so this will be 3000 3000 newton per meter so when we are told to get total spring constant then we should get the total weight acting and we divide with the total extension of the system thank you for following kindly subscribe to this channel and share the link